Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today. Today's video is going to be a bit of a different video. Um, it's mainly going to be um, my August uh, book haul, but I'm also going to include um, a couple of food items that I've recently um, gotten because I'm quite excited about these ones because I actually went to Costco for the first time the other day because I was in Sydney um, for a job interview and we ended up um, like on the way back because it was in um, like Parramatta so, and there's, Par there's a Costco in Parramatta so we decided to stop there because I'd never been um, like um, like my parents had been and before but this was my first time so and they both had membership so I was able to like um because it was just me it was like me and my dad we were down in um like Sydney because he took me down for the interview and that so we decided to stop stop um yeah stop there for on the way back and I finally got to see what Costco was like I absolutely loved it um I wish um, I probably could have got a bit more crazy in there just because it's everything and but I had to restrain myself because I was like um, like half the things I didn't even need because I was basically like wandering around like there was this like a stack of pot plants and I was just like you don't need pot plants don't get pot plants so um, I was able to control my spending um, and yeah, so I'm just going to quickly show you the non-book items that I've gotten. So um, I'm going to start um, with this one first. Um, so I got three um, like food stuffs because um, they're like they're quite big. So I, the first lot I got was this um, bucket of fruit uh, jelly mini cups. Um, because I saw these, because they were like four dollars something, and I at first I couldn't believe that was the price. Because like, look how many are in here, and we've already like eaten some of them. But I was just kind of like, that is such a good price for these. Because we used to have um, when I was in primary school, we used to have like these jelly cups, or like um, that you could get for like ten cents in the canteen and that's what they reminded me of. I think, I don't know if they're this exact same brand that what we used to get, but they taste very similar. Um, and yeah, and I was just kind of like, I want them, so, um, and they're still pretty good, so, um, yeah, and it's really yummy, and this it's going to last me quite a bit, I think, so, um, that's, uh, these are by Panda Roo, I think that's how you say it. Um, and it's yeah, just there's a there's 80 in here. Um, well, we've already eaten a few of them, so well, mainly me and my brother, but um, yeah. So I got these, and the next thing I got was I've never even heard of these, but I saw them and I was kind of like oh yeah these look nice and I've already tried them and oh, they're like so good and it's um they're called rice rolls and oh crunchy rice rolls there we go that's the front and they come in like these pa packs of 10 so I think there's like 40 all up and this is like the ones that we've already been hacking into so but they're so good um because they're kind of they're sweet but they're not too sweet because it's like um natural well it is it says it's all natural and it's like yeah it's just um yeah very natural like um sweetened um snack basically so and yeah so because it's on here it's got like all natural low sodium vegan so like they're healthy snacks and um yeah it's sort of yeah really yeah they're, they're just really good and um yeah so i'm definitely going to get more of these um probably well, i don't know when the next time i'll get to costco but um and I, I mean, I've still got quite a fair bit, obviously, but, um, it's, yeah, it's just, because that's one of the best things I love about Costco is that their stuff is so huge. It's like, it'll last you, like, for ages. It's, um, 
like just some of the like because a lot of the things are like in bulk so but um yeah that's this is yeah the other thing that I picked up that was like food related so and then the last food item that I got was one that I was most excited about because um there's been stuff that I've been meaning to get for a while but I've never been anywhere that sells like um sells this particular um, candy because it is American and I've just never like seen it anywhere and I've been really wanting to because um, I've tried it before and I was like oh yeah this is actually pretty good um, and but yeah this was a few years ago and I was just like I really want, <laughs> want it and I was like I'm gonna see like walk around see if um, I can find you know any American candy and I found this big tub of red vines um so i was pretty much like hell yeah i'm getting this and um i haven't made a very big dent in it i've only had a couple of these but um i still like these <laughs> um because it take it sort of takes a bit to get used to because it does have like a um very rubbery taste but um i quite like them so because none of my family seems to because they were trying them and they're just like um, yeah, I don't think they were that keen on them, but I was just like, well, it's more red vines for me, so, um, and yeah, this is the original red, red vine, so, so I'm going to be, I'm set for quite a bit, so, um, that's this, and red vines, going to start running out of room here, um, so, okay, that, they were like the food stuff that I picked up and the rest is just all book related. Um, I'm going to start off with the magazines that I've picked up. And the first one is a magazine I've never read before, but I was I had some time to fill in one day and I was just like, I'm going to pick up a magazine and just read it because I was waiting for the bus. And I ended up going for this one, which is Rolling Stone. Um, this is issue... 766 and um i have read it and it's actually pretty interesting because um it well it, <laughs> it also showed me how far like behind i am in everything like relating to music um <laughs> but i was yeah thought it was quite interesting going through the articles and and things like that and it sort of you know it sort of made me like you know say oh yeah i've got a um I have to like you know give these a listen to and stuff. So um, I don't know if I'll pick any more issues up because I don't know if this might be just a one-off, but maybe down the line I'll pick up another issue. I don't think it'll be like a monthly thing though, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> so that is uh, Rolling Stones uh, September 2015 issue. And then the last four magazines are all Empire related because I've been really getting back into reading Empire and I ended up getting some back issues. Like, they're all from this year, but I got th I got three and um, I have actually read all of these. Um, I finished the last one yesterday, so... And, yeah, it's been, um, like, quite interesting going back over and... Because, yeah, I've just... Because I used to read these on a semi-regular basis and then I stopped. But now that I'm... As I think I mentioned um, in my last book update, I was, um, like, really... Like, I've gone back into film again, like, going to the movies and things like that. And so I've started reading, like, Empire again. So... And the back issues that I picked up, I got um, January 2015... I got, because it's the, um, it was a farewell to, like, Middle Earth edition, and I actually, because I actually have, um, January 2014's issue, which, again, was, like, um, Middle Earth related, so I thought, I'll also pick this one up just to have more covers, but I imagine there will probably, this won't be, like, the last, um, Middle Earth related cover. So I just sort of picked this one up and then I got the March 2015 issue because it was 200 films 
to see in 2015. Um, it was kind of interesting just going through and seeing the ones that I'd already watched. Um, I don't think I've even made like halfway through this film. I'd have to like actually go back and tick off each film that I've seen. But um, it's, you know, keeps, um, it's got a list of things I need to still watch because I'm slowly playing catch up with 2015 films that I missed at the start of the year. But um, it was quite um, interesting like, and also like to see what films are still to come out that I want to watch. So, um, yeah, it was qu quite an interesting read. So I got um, the t March 2015 issue and then I also picked up, well I ordered um, July 2015's issue because I had August so it sort of made sense to at least have the one before August but then I've got July, August um, and the one in September which I'm about to show you but I wanted this one also because it was like the superhero special and um, so it sort of had X-Men uh, like um, well it's mainly Ant-Man but it also has X-Men, Spider-Man as you can see on the things like Civil War um, Fantastic Four won't mention that <laughs> we talk about that one, Suicide Squad, Deadpool and yeah it was really um, just getting reading through it and like yeah some of these like films coming out next year are like in my most anticipated films um, to watch next year so but yeah it was quite um I quite um yeah enjoyed reading through this so that's July 2015's issue and then the last issue I have is this past month's issue and that is September 2015 because this was part two of these um like fav it was like cause August issue was the top 300 movies of all time and this one was the top 100 characters of all time um the only thing I had an issue with was in the top 10 TV characters and they had Homer Simpson above the Doctor. I did not agree with that at all. I mean, I will fully admit I don't like the Simpsons, but still, I was just like, how can Homer Simpson be above the Doctor? <laughs> um, yeah, it was. I was not impressed with that list, but anyway, um, that was my major gripe because I was like... I'm curious to read next month's issue because reading through the feedback, like the letters and that, there was a lot of people, like it, the top 300 thing divided a lot of people. <laughs> so I imagine there's going to be, um, like in regards to movie characters, that's probably going to be even more divisive. So <laughs> um, it will be yeah quite interesting to read or, like next month's issue, which comes out... Actually, it comes out, like, next week, I think, so I'll have to pick it up and I can see how it's, um, what, you know, the feedback's been, so, um, yeah, that's September's 2015's issue, and then now we get into the actual books, um, there hasn't been a huge amount of books, because, um, haven't really... I mean, I bought a few, but it's sort of, like, compared to, like, last month's and that, I've sort of, um, I think I've hit, like, a bit of a reading slump, because I had, um, like, a couple of assignments due at the start of the month, and then I just, like, and, like, last month I was doing really well with my reading, like, I was finishing so many books that I'd started, and I was just sort of got here, and I'm just like, I don't, <laughs> I'm sort of being, like, I mean, I re read a couple of chapters here and there, but not, like, consistent reading. And I really need to get back into that. So I'm hope because it won't be like a wrap up this month because I haven't finished reading anything. <laughs> it's been like really bad, but um, I'm hopeful to have. Um, oh, it may be like a. We'll see how it goes. It may be a wrap up for September, but I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, I definitely want to get back into reading, and I've got a few books here that I'm quite excited to get into so I'll just get straight in to it and the first one that I have is The Martian by Andy Weir. Um, this was the book I was waiting on last time to arrive because it got shipped um, separately because 
I got a bunch that came at w once and it said this one had been delivered in that but then I got that package and it wasn't in there and then so I was contacting Book Depository and I'm like you know trying to find out what happened to this book and they're like oh it's um no, pretty much like oh it's been shipped um separately even though it was in the invoice for all the other ones so um but luckily it arrived like you know I think it was the next week so because I've been really excited to check this one out because obviously the movie's coming out next well it's still in October and a lot of people um seem to love it so I definitely I don't know if I'll read end up reading it before the movie but I definitely want to check it out at some point so that is The Martian and then I ended up um earlier in the year or, or a few months ago I ended up uh reading Looking for Alaska. Um, I think it was a few months ago that it was. I read it. It seems it seems a while ago. Um, it was this year. I can say that. Um, I yeah. So by John Green, and that was my first, the first book I'd ever read by John Green. And because I decided to start like, um, you know, from his early books and work my way through, um, you know, his catalog. I know it's sort of like you don't have to read them in order because they're like standalones, but. I sort of just want to do it that way, just and because um, after looking for Alaska, the next book was An Abundance of Catherines, and that is what I picked up. So um, yeah, because I, I really enjoyed looking for Alaska, and I want, definitely want to get more into um, you know John Green's books, and you know to eventually read books such as you know The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns and things like that. So. Um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to continue um, reading through um, John Green's books. So, because yeah, I can see why like a lot of people love his love his works. Because yeah, I really enjoy looking for Alaska. So that is an abundance of Catherine's. Then I got the next book in this series, which um, surprised me a bit because I ended up because I've sort of talked about it. Um, like mentioned I didn't really care for the first one I watched the movie and ended up my interest ended up being piped again like peaked I think like um in the series like I wanted to go back to the series and then I read the second book and I really enjoyed the second book and so I was like right I'm continuing on um with this series and that is um Shadow Kiss which is book three as I said um in the Vampire Academy series because um yeah I was like I read the second one and I was like right I'm definitely finishing this series so um because Frost Frostbite ended up being really good and I'm really intrigued to check out Shadow Kiss based on like the synopsis I read and um yeah I want to see where the series goes and you know eventually finish reading you know, Vampire Academy, then read Bloodlines, the spin-off series, so, um, I've still got a long way to go, but, um, I, I will hopefully, um, start reading this one relatively soonish, because at the moment I started reading Succubus Blues by, also by Rochelle Mead, but, um, I haven't gotten very far in that book and I sort of stopped it, but, um, I do want to finish that before I get into this again so like get back into Vampire Academy so there you go that is Shadow Kiss and then I also um picked up The Lost Hero which is book one in Heroes of Olympus by Rick Riordan because I I'm up to um The Last Olympian I think that's the final <laughs> book in the series let me check yes Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian that's the final book <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that um and basically I haven't finished like I haven't started reading that one yet but I wanted to have the spin-off series and I was debating on whether or not to do like read Percy Jackson then read Kane Chronicles then read this and then I was kind of like, I know this is more of a direct spin-off. Well, it's, um, even though the Kane Chronicles are set, from what I understand, they're set around the same time as Percy Jackson, but as far as I'm aware, there's no real interaction 
because it with the other characters because they're like Egyptian is set around Egyptian mythology but I still want to read the Cain Chronicles and also like you know eventually um because he's got a new um book series coming out it's set around the Norse gods which sounds really fascinating and um but yeah so I've still got to make my way us through Percy Jackson's world and because I love the Percy Jackson books and I'm really sad that I'm up to the last one but I'm like, I know I've still got like heaps, like I've still got the Heroes of Olympus series to go through and that, but yeah, it's still kind of sad that it's, um, I'm now up to the last actual book in the main Percy Jackson series, but, um, yeah. Um, so I do have, but I do have the, um, first one ready to pick up as soon as I eventually go around to reading, um, The Last Olympian, so that's... The Lost Hero. And then this is my other purchase at Costco because there was a big table like of books and this caught my eye because it was the cheapest I'd ever seen it and it's a trilogy, like as a box set. And I was and I've been meaning to get into this series because I saw the first movie and uh, like last year and I really enjoyed it. And the second movie's coming out uh next month. And I'm just like, I really want to read the series that it's based on. And I know this particular series, um, I think a lot of people are divided on, like, um, but I think that you, you're basically going to find that <laughs> with any, like, book series. Like, as you know, you've got, um, like, even, like, Hunger Games, like, there are people divided on that with how it ended and, like, Divergent and stuff like that. It's just, I think... You're not going to please everyone, so I'm just like, um, I just sort of want to read it and see for myself what this series is actually like, and they are the Maze Runner series. Um, this was $19 in Costco, and normally I see it for like 26 and like I never see it under 20 so I was kind of surprised when I saw it, and I'm just like, oh, I want this, so um, it comes with uh, the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, and the Death Cure, so... It's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet, but I'll probably open it. Like, um, it probably won't get open till I actually sit down and read it. But, um, but yeah, it's in a like a nice little box, and I'm looking forward to getting into the series. So that is the Maze Runner by James Dashner. And then the last thing that I have is probably the one that I was most excited to get because I found this in Big W of all places and it was only like $24 which for this particular series is actually pretty cheap and it's hardcover and it is the Doctor Who the complete visual collection and it comes with the character encyclopedia and the visual dictionary like it's the most recent um, versions to come out because I don't have any like actual of any of the encyclopedias and I mean I have like a character like um, guide in that like from when um, a few years ago um, that just sort of had like it was like the 10th Doctor and um, the 9th Doctor I think that's what that was around because it's up to like series 4 so oh, it might have been more the 10th Doctor because I remember yeah Donna's in that one, so, <clears throat> but yeah, I saw this, and I was just like, ooh, I want it, <laughs> and it just sort of comes out like this, it's that, and I've sort of flipped through it, I haven't really, like, gone into massive detail, like, reading it, but it's just really nice, and I finally have it, <laughs> so that is the Doctor Who complete visual collection so. and that is everything that I've gotten um, a bit of um, random like items like you know foodstuffs and um, magazines and things like that but um, yeah I just thought it would be you know a bit of a different video um, and yeah, it combines two of, of my favourite things, food and books. So um, so I'm just going to stop it here. Um, thank you guys for watching and until my next video, I will see you guys next time.
Bye.